The following is rated S for spoilers. In a world of generic free-to-plays, mediocre team shooters, and remasters of games you liked a decade ago, welcome an epic adventure that will remind you of an important life lesson you might have forgotten. Always, always return to Monk. Black Myth Wukong. Prepare for a journey like no other as Black Myth releases to critical acclaim that after an epic announcement trailer four years ago, managed to do the impossible, actually delivering what it advertised. In a title that manages to live up to the hype with bombastic combat and stunning visuals, which is a huge contrast from the last monkey-related game that some of us were forced to play. I can still see the Raptor JPEG in my sleep. Live through the epic tale of Journey to the West in a new take on the famous Chinese myth, or as some others may know it, the story Dragon Ball is based on. Then channel your inner ape as you take on the mantle of the Destined One, an ambitious monkey teen out to revive the Monkey King. A few centuries after watching him perform an epic beatdown against this pillowy bitch and his titanic cronies, to eventually be taken down by a heavenly migraine and turned back into a rock. Then seek the six relics of the Monkey King, each guarded by magical beasts and terrifying monstrosities. As you slowly uncover the adventures of Wukong, while the Destined One forges a path for himself, which is just slightly less confusing than anything that From Software has come up with in a beautiful story that opens up the world of Chinese mythology and explores the concepts of greed, redemption, and reincarnation. If you can look past the fact that it all feels like a really effed up version of Animal Crossing. Alright look, the times I beat an upright animal in AC with a stick is not zero. Explore the vast mythical landscapes of, well, I assume a magical version of China in Black Myth's expansive maps as you run through a bevy of different biomes, each more beautiful and dangerous than the last, where you'll be trapped in a maze of trees, ruins, and cliff sides, wondering constantly if you've gone this way before, which you like definitely have, then pulverize your way through the map as you beat everything into a fine mist, searching for the next save point in hopes that this is where you have to go next, because you fought through like 14 mini-bosses on the way, until you finally reach the boss and get your red baboon ass handed to you. Then beat your face at the boss until you can read them like a coloring book, or go back and find all the side stuff in hopes that it might give you that extra edge to eke it out to the finish. Because like the wise Buddha once said, if at first you don't succeed, Beat up the weakling mobs again and again until you were totally overleveled. Wait, that actually might have been carbon. You know how many we would have to kill to get up 30 levels? Yes. 65,340,285. Get ready for bombastic combat with fighting mechanics that are as simple as they come. Hit stuff with cool stick, where you'll choose between three different styles, each with their own type of heavy attack as you weave it into your light combo and try to deal considerable damage. Then mix and match with your powerful monkey tricks, like stunning the enemy, turning into stone, and creating clones to just absolutely pummel them to death. Combine these with some powerful summons and transformations, until the boss does something absolutely ridiculous. Then take advantage of the best feature of this game, free skill resets. As you redesignate your points to try a completely new build that might just be the thing that finally makes you get good. That is, if the Lost Drake Madness hasn't set in and you just let your primate brain take over. I mean, come on, let's be real. At the end of the day, aren't we all just monkeys that wear cargo shorts? Really makes you think, doesn't it? So extend that rod and prepare to get rock hard for an action game that takes plenty of cues from its predecessors but still makes it its own, that doesn't skimp on the production value, and is certainly a gem amongst all the other duds we've had this year. You know, it's honestly so pretty, it almost makes me want to get a PS5 Pro. Just imagine all the hair detail. Wait, where's the pro part? Starring Rafiki Reloaded, 
need manscaping. The Crack Fox, Gordy for Spirits, Bojacked Horseman, Decapacito, Divorced Piglet with a Drinking Problem, Cowabunga, Satan, The Wonder Years, and Dynasty Warrior, Donkey Wukong Country, Ape Escape. There are definitely some great moments in this game, but I've never felt more devastated than when I learned about the little pig man's past with his, with his star-crossed Spider-Woman lover. Am I a grown man absolutely bawling at this pig guy's doomed love? Yes! Yes, I was! <laughs> Pigs need love, too! <laughs> Pigs need love, too! Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. My wife told me to stop singing Wonderwall. I said, maybe. Get this straight, meatball. I don't work for tunes. I am Steve. The force is strong with this one.